Okay, the equation is given that the, it is d square plus 8d plus 16 into y is equal to 0. Now, you have to find the roots of it. Before finding the roots, what we have to do? We have to write it in a auxiliary equation. That is f of m is equal to 0. So, here f of d is nothing but d square plus 8d plus 16. So, while I write in the auxiliary equation, I will get to this as m square plus 8m plus 16 is equal to 0. Okay. You know that it is a quadratic equation. You can solve that equation. So, on solving that equation, I will get m minus 4 into m minus 4 is equal to 0. That is nothing but m minus 4 whole square is equal to 0. So, here you will get two roots. One is m is equal to 4. Another one is also m is equal to 4 itself. So, how you can find the general solution? How you can write the general solution? So, the general solution is nothing but as I explained in the uh, previous class. So, we can write y is equal to if it is distinct 4 and 5 you can write it as c1 e power 4x plus c2 e power 5x. But here since it is same, we write it as c1 plus c2x into e power 4x. So, if it is 3 times repeated, c1, suppose 4 is 3 times, you are having the root uh, 3 roots, 4, 4 and 4 once again. That time you can write it as c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e power 4x and it continues if the number of roots increases. Remember this way we are writing only if the roots are repeated. Okay, now we will solve one problem. So, it is given solve d square x by dt square minus 4x is equal to 0. Here with the condition t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 and one more condition is given that is dx by dt is equal to 3. So, you have to solve this equation d square x plus dt square minus 4x is equal to 0 and the three conditions are given. The first condition is t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 and one more thing is dx by dt is equal to 3. Now, how to solve this? I will represent d as d by dt. Uh, so, I will get this equation as, this equation becomes d square minus 4 into x is equal to 0. Now, you know that we, we, to solve this, what we have to do? We have to write in the auxiliary equation and find the roots of those auxiliary equations. So, auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4 is equal to 0. That is nothing but m square is equal to 4. m is equal to plus or minus 2. Two roots are there. One is plus 2, another one is minus 2. So, we can write the general solution as y is equal to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power minus 2x. So, the general solution is y is equal to c1 e power 2x plus, sorry we are solving with respect to x. So, x is equal to c1 e power 2x plus c2 e power 2x. Now, what is the thing? Here x and t it is, not x and y. So, here you will represent this x is equal to c1 e power 2t plus c2 e power minus 2t. Okay, now the question arises, it is given that conditions are given. So, now we have to use the given conditions. That is t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 and dx by dt is equal to 3. So, we will apply the condition here. Given that x is equal to 0 and t also equal to 0, what will happen when x and t is equal to 0? 
So we will get this equation becomes, I will consider this as equation 1. Equation 1, what will happen? I will get 0 is equal to C1 into E power 2 into 0 plus C2 into E power 2 into 0 once again 0. So I will get C1 plus C2 is equal to 0. So we will get C1 plus C2 is equal to 0. I will get take this equation as 2. Now, one more condition is given dx by dt is equal to 3, right? So, what I will do is we will differentiate the equation 1 with respect to t. So, when we differentiate equation 1 with respect to t, what we will get? This becomes dx by dt is equal to, when I differentiate this, I will get 2 c1 e power 2t plus minus 2 into c2 e power minus 2t. Now, it is given that dx by dt is equal to 3 and t is equal to 0. So, we will substitute that values. When we substitute that values, this becomes 3 is equal to 2 into c1 into e power 0 minus 2 into c2 into e power 0. So, this becomes 3 is equal to 2 c1 minus 2c2. So, this is our second equation. One second. Yeah, this becomes our second, third equation. Now, using the second equation and third equation, we have to find the value for c1 and c2. So, first equation says what? Uh, second equation says c1 plus c2 is equal to 0. Second equation says 2c1 minus 2c2 is equal to 3. So, what we will do is we will multiply second equation by 2 and add it with the third equation. So, when we do that, I will get the second equation as 2c1 plus 2c2 is equal to 0. Here, 2c1 minus 2c2 is equal to 3. So, when you add that, Okay, when you add that, observe that 2c1, 2c2, 2c2 gets cancelled and you will get 4c1 is equal to 3, that is c1 is equal to 3 by 4. So by simplification, we can find the value of c2, that is nothing but you will get c2 is equal to minus 3 by 4. The further simplification we will carry out in our next class. Thank you.